Hi, this is Paul from Paramount Network Systems, found at webjunk.com. And today we're covering PHP List. This is the initial setup. If you've had us install PHP List for you, we have gone through the configuration. So that is done. Uh, it's a working copy. We've set up some default settings um, and gone through those and the things that we found work. But to actually make this useful, there's a few things, and this one is just to give you a heads up. We have some other videos that you can find that go into more detail, but this is to give you an overview for your initial configuration. So we're going to start off on the main admin page, and this is right after you log in. And if you go to configuration functions, and you will see attributes is what we want, and you will see there's nothing here yet. You can add a new one, which we're going to do. So we're going to start with an understanding of what an attribute is. Normally, by default, PHP list only has an email address as a part of the list. By itself, it makes it a list manager. But PHP list has power based on using these attributes. What it does is it allows you to do things beyond just sending to one simple list. You can use the list multiple times. You can target your mailings. Um, you can actually use this list for more than even just sending messages. So there's a whole group of things. We won't go into all of it. And it's based on how you use the attributes. Um, the attributes are global in nature, meaning if you have multiple administrators who are working your system, they have access to all the attributes. Every uh, list has the ability to go after every attribute. So what we're going to do here is just enter a few things to show you how it can be used. So you have a name, which is the name of the attribute. You have the type. We'll go into this in another video in, in detail, but essentially text line is simply that, a line of text. A checkbox is they can either check it or uncheck it. Checkbox group is just as it sounds, a group of checkboxes. Radio is radio buttons. Select is the drop-down menu like you see here. Hidden is a hidden field that can be very, very useful. Um, you have a text area, which is good if you want people to be able to add notes. Um, maybe something beyond what you would normally use or maybe even for your own use. Uh, the date and an avatar. So we're going to select text line for this one. And we're going to say full name. Next, we're going to do default value. Well, we don't want a default value because we don't know their name. You can do order of listing. And is the attribute required? Now, we're going to check this and leave it checked uh, because we want to know their full name. You could also do last name and first name. And that way, you could even work to sort them uh, alphabetically by last name. But for now, we're going to just do this as full name. We're going to click Save Changes. You'll see here existing attributes, and here it is. Now we're going to go to, again, Add New Attribute. And we're going to do this one as Age Group. Now in this case, we're going to do Select, because we need to know if they fall, fall into one group or another. We don't need a default value. Uh, we don't care about the listing, and we want to leave this required for now. Then we're going to click Save Changes. And again, you see both attributes, and they're numbered, uh, are listed here. Now, if you should decide you don't like one of them, you can click the Tag button. And in PHP List, you'll see that often. The tag means to select. And you can come down here and delete that attribute. Uh, if you should try the delete and it doesn't delete the attribute. You need to open a support ticket with us and there's a file that needs to be changed. We have um, the file that the, has a mistake in the code that comes from the developers and uh, we can correct that very easy for you. So if you do have where it's not working for some reason, that's all it is, is just one little file that we have to replace for you. Um, so now we have our attributes. but we need to finish that. So we go back to the main page 
And now you're going to see under configuration functions underneath attributes is age group, control values for age group. So if you click on that, you will see there's nothing here except the age group. So we're going to add new. And this is what's going to be in that select button. So we're going to say over 18, under 18, and add new age group. Okay, and you'll see there's an order in case you want to change the order. But we're alone. Next, we're going to go to list, which is what everybody's waiting for. Now, there is a default test list. I never leave that. I use that for playing around at times when I don't want to touch an existing list and I need something real quick. So we're going to leave that. But we're going to add a new list. We're going to call this, hmm, okay, um, Martini Magazine. And I'm not sure if I'm spelling Martini right. We're going to make this active. If you don't make it active, it won't be listed in the subscriber list. You can change the order, in case you have that. You can change the owner, so if you want a different administrator to own it. And you can set up administrators so they can only access lists that they own. And that way you can have somebody else use your PHP list. Now we're going to just call this people interested in martinis and other drinks and then we're going to save it and now we see it here now we're going to go to view members and there's nobody there zero users are on this list so let's add a user now we're going to try uh, John Smith at yahoo.com and we click add now that didn't add them specifically to you to the list directly you see no user found with that email that first does a check to make sure there's not a duplicate because we don't want a lot of duplicates so it says no user found and now here it added his email and then you see the same thing that they would see in the subscriber list now there's a checkbox for I prefer to receive emails in HTML format. We always normally today want to select that because unless somebody has a problem and you can change it back later, you almost should figure that they should be able to accept an HTML format. Next you'll see age group. That's the attribute that we created. You see it defaults to over 18, but there's also under 18. Now where this becomes useful is apparent here because this is for Martini Magazine. This is for people who drink. And they should be at least 18, in some states 21. So by doing this, having the age group, if they select under 18, we don't need to send the messages. If they have over 18, we can specify when we're doing a mailing that only people who have over 18 selected here will receive our message. So we're not sending a magazine about drinking to people who are underage. And we'll put his full name here. And this can be used to personalize messages. So then we'll go to add user. Users added. Now you do other things with him. You can even copy the, this user. If you tag them, that means select. You can actually copy him to the other uh, mailing list. So you can work with the same users and other lists, um, but for now, that alone. So now we have a list. The next step would be a message, and we'll cover the messages actually in another video. But needless to say, uh, this is where you would come, and uh, you know we'll do that in the next video. Thank you very much, and have a good day.